Welcome back YouTube family, this is the Sub-Zero Vlogs, back in another video just for you guys. As you guys can see, I was able to get a second GoPro mount so you guys can see um, how it looks to me while I'm driving. You guys can also see the road. I'm um, just trying to get different angles for you guys. But anyway, I want to show you guys how I like to drive in traffic and give you guys some tips or pointers um, if you're learning to drive a manual or a stick shift car um, and what you guys can do. <laughs> if you guys can hear, that's me just doing some pops in the car. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But anyway guys, let's get to the video. So as you guys can see, I'm in first gear at the moment, um, just driving, and I'm going to shift to second right here. Uh, when you guys are learning to drive a stick, make sure you guys keep a good distance away from the car in front of you. Um, that way you can just, you know, have space just in case something happens, uh, but that way you guys can take your time and learn and get used to the car. Also, what I like to do, guys, in traffic is I'll put it in neutral right here, but I'll get back in the first and keep my foot all the way in the clutch. So that way I'm not burning it. But that way, if you have it in first, you can always maneuver and drive your car. A lot of people like to have their car in neutral right here. Um, while they're cruising, you know, they'll go from second to neutral and just let the car roll. But let's say a car cuts you off or let's say you need to make a quick decision. Um, it's going to be hard to move your car. You have to go from neutral back to a gear. So I like to always make sure, always guys, if you're, the car is in movement, always make sure the car is in a certain type of gear. But one more time, I'm in third gear as you guys can see right now, but I am not shifting up. I just downshift it. more um, if the car is just going in neutral all right guys so as you guys can see the traffic moved up a little bit and opened up um, so I'm going to get into some downshifting and rev matching a little bit so this is sixth gear right here, guys. I'm gonna go on the fifth gear and the next one, pop. So with this, you guys can see the car isn't jerking. It's not doing any uh, crazy movements. You can see it's smooth. Um, so that's how you guys rev match. Every car is different. There's no set RPM to how you guys rev match and downshift. You just wanna get a feel for your car. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I have a little space in front of me. Um, I'm going to be able to really kind of show you guys more of the downshifting and the rev matching. So the rev matching, it helps just that way, you know, if you need to speed up like this, and you just need to do it quickly, you know, instead of matching the gas in sixth gear and you get no power and you're putting strain on your transmission, you're going to want to downshift to get um, the RPMs in a little higher range and better power band so you guys can get more power. As you guys can see, it's not all the way in gear, it's in neutral. So if you guys aren't in gear, the car is going to keep revving and it's not going to go anywhere. You're actually going to be doing more damage to the car. Um, but what you guys want to make sure you do is you engage it. So you want to be efficient, you want to be close with it, but you really want to just make sure you guys are in gear. So I'm going to do some more for you guys so you guys can see. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead, you're going to want to put your foot all the way in the clutch, and then you're going to want to shift. So I'm in six, I'm all the way in the clutch, fifth gear, and then right when I push it in the fifth, I'm blipping the throttle, guys. So let's say it's at, you know, 25, let's say it's at 3,000, 3,500 uh, RPM. If I shift down, you know it's going to go around 2,000, 2,500. So it's going to boggle. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to blip the throttle. Uh, so right when you shift, it blips to the current RPM or the RPM range of the next gear. Um, this is what helps when you guys really know what gears you guys are going to be in and know your car. If I blip the fifth right here, and you can see, I'm at around 3,500 RPM. If I go back into six, it goes back down. All right, guys. So really, what you're gonna want to do is get used to this movement: clutch, gear, blip, clutch, gear, blip, clutch, gear, blip, clutch, gear, blip. And I know I'm doing a lot more. 
or like you know this isn't the movie Fast and Furious where they're shifting you know like 12 times in a drag race uh, you don't have to shift as much um, but I just really want to show you guys what it's supposed to sound like and how it's supposed to look so when you downshift or rev match you have it now some cars uh, which is great nowadays have the active rev matching already built in the car so all you have to do is just downshift and the car will do it for you but a bunch of you guys like me maybe that don't have this feature in your cars um, you're gonna really want to do this this is also gonna help you know the clutch a little bit because you're even though you're burning the clutch a little bit every time you do a downshift the worse you do at it the more you're burning um, so if you guys are gonna do it you're gonna want to make sure you guys are efficient with it and do it in a way that's gonna be really productive overall with how you're driving but right here I'm in fourth gear guys going to fifth gear so really it's just learning your clutch. You, you notice when I'm downshifting or upshifting, it's smooth. That's six gear. So to do that guys, you just, you just rev the car, you just hold the clutch all the way in and then rev it. I don't suggest doing it too much because it is wear and tear in your car. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, that's a little bit of some tips for you guys. Thank you.